right, we live. All right, so the title of this video is Women, You Have to Learn How to Get It Together. And let me preface this by saying that I'm just the messenger, so don't shoot the messenger right now. But as I was driving, a lot of things were just coming to my spirit to talk about. And yesterday I got on Facebook and I did a long post talking about my experience, you know, being unhinged sexually before I came into the Lord, before I met my wife, and it was in connection in relation to a video I was watching with Devon Franklin and Megan Good, which I really thought was good, so I, I highly advise a lot of you guys to check that out, you know, um, mo mainly for men, guys, but women, y'all need to check that out too, hear Megan Good's story, uh, completely unexpected, but in this video, it's just a lot of things I'm really passionate about when we're talking about, you know, a woman's role and I'm only coming from this biblically it's not my opinion I'm only coming from this through a biblical perspective or biblical lens like I said don't shoot the message I'm gonna try to be as sensitive and understanding as possible but let me just say this before I get into the meat of things that y'all have more power ladies you have more power than what you give yourselves credit for you know and if you're a single woman you definitely need to hear this because i think this is mostly for them but it's going to be for some women that's taken too so as a we have a there's a lot of women out there that are looking for husbands and you know they they come with these prerequisites of what they want in a man which is it's it's fine to a certain extent and i say it's fine to a certain extent because uh those standards have to as long as those standards align with what you know is biblically sound they're fine but really it's also a detriment too because you're wanting a guy that's already pre-packaged you want him to be already be god fair you want him to already be you know well equipped you want him to already have a successful career and yada 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 all these things and as times go on as the generations continue to continue to be devalued away from god away from jesus christ and the lord and when i say these things it's all coming from a biblical standing those those uh fathers are going to be very slim you know, and, and hopefully in this video, I can like provide some encouragement to empower like, you know, ladies to stay encouraged because um, you may not find a man that's already going to be that. You know, you're not. I have a lot of friends on here that always like preach about, you know, get a man that's God fearing and yada, yada. You may not, that may not who God has for you in in the early stages of your relationship you know and, and y'all want the man to be pre-packaged but then you sit up here and you say to yourselves you know well he better accept me for me and he better accept me for who i am you're not making any changes oh and it's even worse if you got kids you know he better accept me me and my kids for who we are you're not making any changes but you want a god fear man you want somebody that's already made already these things but you're not gonna change how does that work how does that work? It's not going to work. That's the problem. It's not going to work. So as ladies, you actually have to understand. Let me take this back to the garden because when Eve gave Adam the fruit, um, when Eve ate the fruit, she ate the fruit first. Nothing happened when she ate the fruit. Let's be very clear about that. It wasn't until she got... Um, enamored she got in a trance with the, the desires that were that's in her just came out those characteristics and when she ate the fruit she was just all in love with it and thought about what she can do and she got into the man's ear and um yeah you know he convinced her convinced him to eat, eat of the fruit and so he did and uh, when he ate of the fruit because god held him as the leader made him responsible we lost we lost access to the garden. Man lost something. The man specifically, you know, um, when women was taken out of the man in the form of a rib, that rib was baptized in the Holy Spirit. So women have characteristics of God already equipped inside of them. You know, um, if you notice something about you, if you think about like why you're so nurturing, why um, you have these these you know the mother like characteristics, all these things, you know, it's it's a reflection of what the God has already blessed you with. With men, we lost something. You know, in the Bible, it tells us, you know, men cleave to your wives, you know, um, or, or for this uh, reason, a man shall leave his mother and father and cleave to a wife, you know, and there's a reason why he needs to cleave because we don't, we don't, we lost those characteristics of God. You have those characteristics. When I say you, I'm talking generally about women. You have those characteristics. Now, in this day and age, if you're not, you know, following Jesus Christ, you're not tapping into those godly characteristics. You, you're not, you're not living up to your full potential. Actually, you're living as Eve did, you know, 
outside of the characteristics that God has given her, you're tapping more so into your own desires and what you want rather than seeking, you know, what the Lord wants for you and everything else. And as a matter of fact, if you pray in Proverbs, it says he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. You have to start making preparations and start getting yourself ready uh, for the man that God has for you. And sometimes that man isn't going to already come equip God fearing. Let me give myself an example. Like, man, I was a I was a dirty like bastard. You know, you have to excuse my language, but I'm going to probably use some profanity to get some things across. Maybe not some hard profanity, but man, I was dirty. Like when I met my wife, I was going through I was actually going through the process of seeking God. But. Uh, yeah, I was in a process of seeking him and I actually prayed for a wife, you know, but you know, when I actually met my wife at the time, like some of my spirit jumped out and said, Oh, this is going to be the woman I'm supposed to marry, you know, but I was still dirty. I wasn't God fearing in a sense. I was actually seeking to see who God was in my life. Cause everything I knew from church and all these other things, it just wasn't going, that wasn't going to work out, you know? So, um, so I was just seeking God for practical reasons and, and for realistic reasons in my own life. I wanted to see who he was in my life. And I see it even more in the form of his son, Jesus Christ now. So I was dirty. I didn't come prepackaged God fearing. And, and, you know, to a lot of I told my wife, you're, you're going to be my wife. And, you know, she smacked her lips and ah, God, so I didn't fit her standards like at, at all. Like I didn't fit that laundry list. She was looking for God. What's that movie? She always tells me it was the movie with Morris Chestnut and and um and and Vivica Fox. You know, like Morris Chestnut was like this big exec and had it made. And you know, it, it's just the typical like standards. You know what I'm saying? I know I know a lot of women already want to feel. They don't want to get with somebody that's like not you know that doesn't have his stuff together that doesn't have it made but you know he needs to be spiritually sound because he could be physically broke but if he's um if he if he's in a process of seeking you know the lord in a process of seeking god and he wants to find a wife first you know kind of in that same way you know you have to trust you have to put your trust in the lord that He's going to actually turn out to be the way that you would want him to be, because even though he looks dirty now, he's going to come out like clean as day. You know what I'm saying? If you continue to stick with, you know, God, when I say you, I'm talking to women and you continue to help him meet the will and purpose that God has for him on his life. That's the most important thing. A lot of women forget that because we fallen into this like this selfishness. You know what I'm saying? We we fallen right directly into this this whole selfish ideology that you know I'm a I, I gotta get mine and um a guy doesn't want me to be like not happy. It's not about you being like happy at all. It's about you having joy. But God God wants you to be prosperous. It's not about happiness. Is you know you think about happiness. Think about the word happen. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just a very temporary thing. But you need to really base the, the things that's eternal and kind of feed off of that. So, uh, women, y'all y'all have to really, you have to make sure that you're getting right first. You have to make sure that you're being prepared and, and understand that that the man that you, that God actually has for you may not already come equipped with the things that you think he should. But if you're doing right by the Lord and you're seeking him and you've already accepted Christ, and you're living the purpose that God has designed and preordained for you. And you're walking in that and you do meet that man. He doesn't already come equipped. You have to understand too, in first Corinthians, I, I may be wrong. We see the first Corinthians, the second Corinthians, but um, there's a scripture in there where it talks about, you know, you can win a man over through um, chase conversation, do your whole demeanor, your actions. You can actually win him over. And it doesn't say that he's supposed to win you over. And that's a bad that's a whole bad train of thought. when You actually think that a man is supposed to save you. That's bad. That That's a horrible place to be in. You know, what I'm saying it's actually it's quite the it's quite the opposite. You know, a woman. You know, if you're finding the Lord, you can save the man. That's that's the order right now. Now, man, this isn't to excuse the responsibilities that a man is supposed to have, but a man has to learn how to be responsible. Let me let me go ahead and clear something up with you. You know, a lot of y'all want a man that's already like take charge and you know he he's like the leader. Like men aren't naturally built like that. They're they're not 
built like that. And I think sometimes y'all confuse what you see on like rap videos and TV and, and the thug life persona as being like a, the, the whole bad boy thing as being this like leader and this take charge person and fearless, which is, is quite not. It's, it's just a man giving into his emotions. He's emotional. That's that's all that it is. He's being led into his emotions. And that's that's not taking charge at all. If you think about it, if most women who are in, you know, who are married, you know what I'm saying, got the husband, it's like, all right, you know, honey, whatever you want, whatever you say right now, because most men by nature, uh, because we lost those characteristics in the beginning, our nature, our actual nature uh, from the get go is to kind of be kind of chill and, you know, re relax. And I ain't trying to, you know, really, you know, hurt nobody or hear any of that. You know what I'm saying? And um, and if a man is take charge, it's only because he's achievement oriented. You know, we are wired to be that way. But in a relationship, it's quite the opposite. Women will usually take charge first. Man will just either follow behind. And that's actually it's supposed to be an exchange of training or a woman. A man is supposed to learn how to take charge and a woman is supposed to learn how to actually be um, subjective. You know what I'm saying? And when I say learn how to be subjective, she has to learn how to like ease those desires and ease that whole um, brash attitude and learn how to be humble, learn how to show some humility. And a man has to learn how to actually show some humility by actually learning how to take lead. Um, and I, I don't know if that actually even makes sense learning how to um, be humble but and take lead at the same time but that that's the whole process you know so um, so I guess I want to go ahead and end this video I, I've already talked too much if there's anything I just said that was confusing just leave a comment below something that you may disagree with which is fine I'm, I'm completely fine with that but just some things that you know, I think we need to get a better understanding of in terms of a woman's role and a man's role and the actual power that a woman has. And I want to end this video by saying, ladies, you have a lot of power. You do. You have a lot of power. But if you let your desires, your own personal desires, and if you get in a relationship and you're not actually, you know, helping a man achieve the purpose that God has, you're just wanting him. You're just using him for your own personal gain to try to get what you want. You're, you're not going to win anyway. It's going to be a very temporary, a very synthetic relationship. And you're going to end up falling, you know what I'm saying? Like, just like Eve did. You, you are, you are, you know, but if you learn how to, you know, um, be in a, and learn how to submit to the role that God has for you, you know, uh, you'll actually achieve better results. Before I leave, let me end it on saying this. And uh, just, just speaking about me, um, the reason that a lot of my actions, a lot of my actions are actually now connected towards my connection with the Lord, connection with the word of God and Jesus Christ inside of me. So I don't make act i don't make decisions or i don't base my behaviors based off of oh i love my wife so much i never do this against her no my it's, it's like this thing it's like you know and this is why they talk about the three court for uh, the threefold court being important if i said that correctly i'm not sure because my connections my actions go to the lord or come from the lord then i treat my wife based on how the lord would have me to treat her you know if i did it, if i there was no god in my in my marriage i would have i would have been left a long time ago because one i'm a very selfish person deshaun is very selfish um two there, there's a lot of like you know dirty characteristics just in, from my experiences that still come up in my life even as a christian person and the only reason and i said this in my long post yesterday the only reason i got restraint is because of me using a word and not being theoretical none of that crap you know I'm, i don't i'm not a person i really try not to just be this this person that just throws off scripture just from my mouth and if i do it's only because i'm trying to make a point or i'm giving my experience you know what i'm saying but you know uh one of my scriptures that i really try to live by like philippians is two four let every man not look to his own things let every man look to the things of others like, i have to keep that in mind because if i don't i will put myself over anybody else you know at any given time i i, I just will you know what i'm saying like it takes me and for me it takes i have to be very mindful to actually hang out and talk to people because if it was up to me i grew up playing video games i could sit in a room all day long and just play video games like I could just I could do that with ease. That's nothing. People will call me. I'll call them. But I ain't talking. To, I ain't talking to this, you know, guy right now. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll holler at him later and forget to call him back or something like that. You know what I'm saying? And um, and that's just because like I just 
you know, I, I kind of grew up lack of social skills, I guess. When I even when I did get social skills, you know, and, and can like talk to people, even do these Facebook lives. Um, I still could just do that, you know, because dealing with people is, 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 is a tough work. You know, you're dealing with emotions, you're dealing with logic, you're dealing with all these ideologies. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's man, it's, it's tough. You know, so I can be a very selfish person and you may argue, you may say, I don't need Christ or Jesus Christ. And that's just your beliefs, man. I, I got this down. I learned from my experiences and I'm disciplined. I got all this. I you, we'll see how long that lasts. We'll see how long that lasts. Um, well, we'll just see how long that will last. So now let me go ahead and say this too: that. There's a lot of people that, you know, are Christians and, and things end in divorce. But I guarantee you most of the times that those relationships end or they end in divorce is because they stop connecting. They stop really connecting with the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Like there's been there's been times to where, you know, I, I would feel a scripture inside of me come up when I'm about to do something wrong. Come giving into that selfish nature and I'll ignore that scripture inside of me. And yeah, I'll just do what I want. And that's for me, that's even worse, because if I already know, if I already if God has already told me, the Lord has already told me something. And I still do it anyway. I'm being held double or accountable. So I, for me, I have to really be careful. Now, I really have to be careful because now I'm entering into a lukewarm state. And there's been times that, you know, I've ignored, you know, spiritual things and I did what I wanted, man. And I, I, I kid you not, like it was one day. Um, it was actually one day that. What was it? What was it? Um, all right. For the sake of this video, I'm not going to actually tell you what the behavior was. Let's just say I was about to engage in something I had no business doing. And I felt the Lord tell me not to do it. And I did it anyway. And I kept I, I, I directly was disobedient. And I did it anyway because I fell back into my own emotional state. I wanted to do what I wanted to do. And I kid you not, like when you when you actually deliberately sin, um, and you're covered by the blood of Christ. You move yourself away from that blood for a temporary time and you invite, you know, uh, principalities, powers, and, and rulers of darkness to actually come in. You put yourself in a very dangerous place. And there's been times to where, like, I would get these skin rashes. You know, I got a skin rash one time. And it just wouldn't go away. And I was like, what What the heck is going on? And it came, like, right after, you know, I indulged in this act. And then there was another time I did something. And, you know, I got a flat tire, like, you know, hours later. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so I'm really just kind of like speaking about myself, which is the utmost important thing because I don't want to exclude myself out, but I just, I guess I, I don't, I want to share my experience and just let ladies know that you are also powerful while also speaking to men in this video, but women, you have to get right. You have to get right with the Lord. Don't sit up here and try to expect a man to get right. You may actually be in a position where you actually have to help him. You know, you may have to go through the fire of actually helping them meet the will of the Lord, uh, meet the will of God as, as you see fit. You know, and I mean, this isn't a video give men excuses to do whatever he wants to do. But this is why your connection with the Lord, with God, with Jesus Christ needs to be even stronger so you can recognize and you can actually see, you know, what is right in front of you if you need to lead that man and the type of man that god has for you because if god if you do pray for a husband if you're a single woman if you do pray for a husband and uh god said keep sending you this man you keep ignoring him because he doesn't meet your standards well you may actually be putting yourself into trouble with god because you kept ignoring all the actual signs and and the communication that god has been ha actually given to you that jesus christ has been given to you if you're following jesus christ you know so uh, all connections by the Holy Spirit. Anyway, uh, I think I'm done with this video. Like I said, leave a comment below. You disagree, agree with some things, uh, whatever you feel. I don't, I don't mind at all. It doesn't bother me at all. But I just maybe this little message out here will help somebody or give somebody, you know, some information, some insight, some revelation as to the best ways that they can conduct themselves into finding a spouse. And if you're already married, you know, your role that you need to actually do in your own relationship. All right. Deshaun Johnson. Talk to y'all soon. God bless.